The verdict is finally out. Wyanar alum, Steve Burton, is officially divorced from his wife. While his ex-wife has custody of their children, Burton is to pay a hefty child support for his three kids. Stick around for full details. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. While many people recognize the soap vet, Steve Burton, as the General Hospital star, the OG Wyanar fans will definitely know him for his role in the show. Burton played the role of Dylan McVoy on Young and the Restless, from 2013 to 2017. From the very beginning the actor had managed to steal the hearts of many viewers, and when he made his exit, the fans still had hope of returning. While he has left the character behind, in real life, Burton is currently going through a hard time regarding his personal life. After getting married in 1999, the 53-year-old actor and his former wife, Sherry called it quits on their marriage back in 2022. Burton officially filed for divorce in the Orange County Superior Court on July 7, 2022 and according to People magazine, they did not sign a prenuptial agreement. In the documents, Steve mentioned March 1 as the official date of their separation, citing irreconcilable differences. In his filing, he was also seeking joint legal and physical custody of their children, Jack, Makina, and Brooklyn. Right now, Burton and Sherry share two girls, 9-year-old Brooklyn and 20-year-old Makina, and their 17-year-old son, Jack. The news first broke out when Burton took to his Instagram stories in May 2022, writing that he and his ex-wife were no longer together, and saying, I wanted to clear something up. Sherry and I are separated. She recently announced that she's expecting her fourth child. The child is not mine. At the time, he also said they were still co-parenting their three beautiful kids, adding, we would appreciate privacy at this time. Much love, Steve. So, after almost two years Burton and Sherry have finalized their divorce. As per court records obtained by The People magazine, the couple will have joint legal and physical custody of their underage children. Burton, who earned his second daytime Emmy for portraying Y&R's Dylan in 2017, is obligated to provide his ex-wife with $12,500 per month in child support for their minor children until April 2024. After that date, the monthly amount will be reduced to $10,000. Both parties have also waived any entitlement to spousal support. The ex-spouses have mutually agreed to release the other from any and all past, present and future claims for spousal support and our maintenance. However, Sherry will receive $50,000 as retroactive support. Furthermore, they have divided their personal assets, including jewelry, vehicles, bank accounts, and other items acquired or established in their individual names. Having sold their home in 2022, Steve will retain ownership of three investment properties located in Tennessee as part of the agreement. Sherry, on her end, still hasn't publicly responded to the actor's statements regarding her pregnancy. She welcomed her fourth child, a daughter named Isabella, in February 2023, while the identity of the father is still unknown. Back in October 2023, she also announced her fifth pregnancy. On her IG, she wrote, If you would have told me I was going to have five kids, with two of them being born in my 40s I would have laughed and said you were crazy, but God has a plan, and here I am, and I couldn't be happier or more grateful for my life, and the people in it. She also said that from now on she is going to dial back the personal posts a bit, to protect her children, but will continue to be real and authentic, sharing bits of her life that might help or encourage someone else. Lastly she also made it clear she was not taking the hate anymore, and wrote, Hate and negativity have no place on my page. It will be blocked and deleted. Please be kind. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.